Hello, today we are going to be making the Let's Sew Something Organizer. The featured fabric collection is called Maker by AGF Studio. Today's project will cover how to applique using steam -a seam how to use a zigzag stitch, and how to quilt with the seam guide. Here are the supplies you'll need to get started. So the first thing we're going to do is piece together our dress template and tape the pieces together. And then we're going to need about a 15 by 21 inch rectangle and you can cut the seam a seam the same size or bigger. And go ahead and steam the fabric to the seam a seam. And make sure the, the bumpy, the sticky side, the glue side is up facing the wrong side of the fabric. And then once you have your fabric fused to your seam a seam, you can go ahead and pin your template and then cut it out and then you'll have the seam a seam stuck to the back of your dress template. So now that we have our seam and seam attached to our dress fabric and our strips that are going to be at the bottom and the top of our piece, we're going to go ahead and cut out a piece about 21 by 31 inches, which is our backing fabric. And then we're going to go ahead and make our pockets. We're going to have four pockets. And each pocket needs two pieces and each piece is five by five inch square. And we're also going to need a piece of batting for each pocket. Change the stitch length to 4. Make sure needle position is centered and line the edge of your pocket to the 1 inch mark on your machine. Stitch all the way to the end of your piece. Place your seam guide at the one inch mark on your machine. The seam guide should follow the stitch line all the way down as you sew. Continue this process for the rest of your pockets. So we're going to take the back of each of our pockets and we're going to place them right side together. And we're going to stitch all the way around your piece, leaving a small unsewn portion in order to flip your pocket through. So now that I sewed the long side of my square down at 1 4th of an inch, I'm going to flip my piece through. And now once I have my piece flipped through through the right side of the fabric, I'm going to press it flat. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half again. And I'm going to top stitch as close to the edge as possible. And then I'm gonna flip it and also stitch on the other side as close to the edge as possible. Now we have all of our pieces we need for our wall hanging. And before we go attaching it to the background of our fabric, we're gonna go ahead and quilt the back of our fabric. So what we're gonna do is uh, pin your batting to your backing and just go ahead and do whatever quilting you desire. I'm just going to go ahead and do the same um, straight lines that I did on my pocket. So 
So now that we have placed our strips and our dress on our background, it's time to choose a stitch to secure the pieces to the background. I chose a zigzag stitch by pushing the number two on my machine. I wanna make sure my needle is centered and I wanna set my stitch length to number three. So now I'm gonna start zigzagging my pieces down. I wanna make sure that my presser foot is centered to the edge of my piece that I'm going to zigzag. And I wanna make sure to push this button right here. And this will make sure to, when you're sewing and you stop at this edge, you wanna make sure that your needle is down so then you can lift up your presser foot and then turn your fabric and then keep sewing. So now that I secured all the strips with the zigzag stitch, I'm gonna use the same process to secure down the dress. Now we can go ahead and secure our belt to our dress. You can turn the raw edges under on each side about one half of an inch. Go ahead and center your belt in the middle of your dress and pin in place. I am gonna use a small zigzag stitch to secure each side of my belt to my dress. So once we have our pockets in place, go ahead and pin and take over to your machine and stitch as close to the edge as possible, starting from one end of your piece all the way around to the other end. Enjoy your Let's Sew Something organizer. I hope it'll keep your sewing area more tidy. Stay tuned for more projects from AGF, which can be found on the Bernina website at wealsew.com.